Okay, starting in Misbehaving Calls a Caven. Again. Just super smash these. It's easier. And then go left. And collect the key keys. First one you get creates a cutscene, and the fourth one you get creates a cutscene. No idea why. I can't see why they just can have the first cutscene and that's it, but you know. Yeah, and here is where you'll need that plunger invention. That's why you. This is where you actually use it. Which I'll show you when I get all the skin snacks. And there's the final cutscene, which I have no idea why, but it just happens. And here you actually are supposed to use an invention to get our monster token, but I know why. I don't know. I don't know if the, it was supposed to use the invention or if you were supposed to use this way, I don't know. But I just use this way. You just go all the way to the top. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Thank you. All the way around. Collect all the Scooby Snacks first before you do this. And here's another one where you can use it if you want, but like I said before, I'm not. Hold on. No, actually this isn't a one way. It takes you back to that gate in on edge in a hedge, which you probably wouldn't have seen because it's too blurry, but I'll just show you now. Yeah, it takes you back here. Can you remember? So yeah, and then you just go back. And here is the trick. You just wear your... Oh, he's in the right spot. If he's down below, you just wear this until he gets in the right spot. Take it off. Super bounce him and get up. And there we go. And here's the plunger. See? So if you didn't get that, you wouldn't have been able to go up here. Even if you jumped all the way. Which you wouldn't have been able to. Because you can't jump high enough. And if you jumped from here... It would have just done and gone wee all the way to the bottom, so you need the plunger invention. Now here is quite tricky. Well, I found it quite tricky the first time I got here. Anyway, before I talk about that, um, you can double jump over there if you time your jumps carefully. Because it's possible, but actually you're supposed to have an invention yeah and for some reason there's an invisible thing there don't know why then you just hit that and you can go across if you miss Scooby Snacks I think I just got all of them then did I? oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay I'm okay right look here you think it's impossible to get over there, or at least I thought that. Until I was messing around and accidentally found that if you hit it, it goes down and creates a platform. Which isn't very obvious. Well, it is a bit because it's called Misbehaving Cause Caving, but... Yeah, it's not qu not that obvious. I don't know, it could have had a, like, a um, magnifying glass telling you, but, no. 
and then you just go across. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, this is stupid. Why is there a gate saying keep out when you can easily just walk by not seeing it because there's such a big gap? Look at that big gap. So big, you don't even need a gate. And there is an upgrade for our Super Smash invention. And yes, it's all the way up there. How do you get up there? Well, yeah, you have to... Well, I'm not going to spoil it. Probably some of you already know. The people who played the game, but... This is for people who haven't played the game. Yeah, so you press this button and the water starts to rise. And then the boats rise, which give you platforms, which allow you to get to each platform. And get to the top. That's very hard to get all the scuba snacks in here. Oh no, that was stupid of me. That was very, very stupid of me. Okay, hopefully I can make it. No, I can't, no, I can't. Okay, never mind. I'll just... Do it again. Here's a little tip. If you hold R1 and start charging, you can jump whenever you want while charging. Because if you started charging without holding R1, you wouldn't be able to jump straight away. But if you hold R1 and charge, you can jump straight away. Yeah. This is actually quite hard. Some of this part, some of the parts in this game are ridiculously easy. Some are ridiculously hard. Okay, I'm gonna wait here. Okay. Yeah, see why it's so hard to get all the Scooby Snacks? Because if you sacrifice your life trying to get the Scooby Snacks, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I'm doing okay so far, but there is only like one part which I struggle on, and it's the last part. And here you really don't have to worry because there's one that doesn't sink, so yeah. Don't go that way because all that's there is a life, and you're risking dying as well. And just for those people who think you can stay on here and whiz all the way to the top, you can't. Because when it gets to a certain height, you actually die. I don't know why. Anyway, this is the part where I, I find hard trying to get all the Scooby Snacks. Because the Scooby Snacks get higher and higher. Yes, I did it! Wow! Only just. And now we have the Super Sonic Smash. And watch it. You can now stun enemies if you Super Smash close to them. Why isn't it working? There we go. Apparently extremely close to them. Yeah, so this bit's quite secret. You can just run and jump over here. It's kind of really secret. I find it hard to find. Now here on some consoles and um, things um, these two lives are actually inside the box with the snack boxes but for some reason they're outside the box and yeah on mine they're outside the box and you just saw then we got all snacks. Hopefully you'll get all the snacks if you followed what I did. And now we're on a tight spot for a grey plot. Okay, we're getting quite close to the boss now. And, yeah. Very close to the boss, actually. This is the last part before the boss. Well, actually, there's gloom and doom down soon, but, yeah. 
that's where we fight the boss. So I think I'll see you next part where we might just get to the boss.